of all the quarterbacks in the playoffs, which quarterback would gain the most if they led their team to win a Super Bowl this year? Okay, and I have four quarterbacks. I have four quarterbacks, and I'll start with one. Okay, instead of starting with four and then three, two, one, I'll just start with one and then go two, three, four. Now, there are a few names I left off of here, like Patrick Mahomes. I feel he's still so young, right? Like, if he wins, that would be amazing. Um, but there are other quarterbacks who I feel kind of need it more, right? Like, Pat, let's say they don't win this year. He's still going to be amazing for the next probably 15 years, right? And there's a good chance the Chiefs are going to win more Super Bowls, you know, with him at the, uh, as their quarterback. So, yes, he has a lot to gain. But I feel there are other quarterbacks who would just gain so much more, right? Pat has accomplished a lot in, in short time, right? And he has so much more time to go and he's so gifted. So I'm not, you know, if he doesn't win for some reason, right, he's not going to lose a whole lot. And if he does win, he has a lot to gain, but not as much as I, the other quarterbacks I'm going to list here, okay? And then like Derek Carr and, and Jalen Hurts and, you know, I, I don't feel they're good enough to get to a Super Bowl. Okay, so anyway, here's my four quarterbacks. I'm going to start with Aaron Rodgers. Okay, I have him. Of all the quarterbacks in the NFL, I feel like he needs it the most. Here's why. There are only 12 quarterbacks since the merger that have multiple Super Bowls. 12. Okay, 12 quarterbacks can say they've won multiple Super Bowls. Aaron Rodgers is not one of them. He only has one Super Bowl win one Super Bowl appearance. Okay, so to truly put him on the Mount Rushmore of quarterbacks with all the other quarterbacks we put up there, everyone else has multiple except him. He's the only one that doesn't have multiple and that can be used against him, especially because he's one in four in NFC Championship games. He's 0 in four in the last four NFC Championships in a row. You imagine if for some reason Green Bay gets to an NFC championship and they lose again, how bad that would look on his resume to be 0-5 in a row, to lose five conference championships in a row. That would be so bad. But if he wins, he suddenly goes from a quarterback that has one Super Bowl to multiple Super Bowls. That, that, that would cement him with all the greats. And he's already considered one of the greats, but it would just substantiate it. Because one of the things that's always hurt Aaron Rodgers is he, he doesn't have a whole lot of moments in the playoffs. He, he really doesn't have any, if you think about it, right? He has the Super Bowl, but I'm talking moments. I'm not even talking about winning Super Bowls, just moments, right? Big games where you're like, oh my God, that was not supposed to happen. He has two game-winning drives in his career. None past the divisional level. None. Okay, so no big moments. So if somehow he leads this Green Bay Packers team to win a Super Bowl, he will have multiple Super Bowls. And I would assume on the way there, because it's really competitive this year, he's going to have to be big, right? Last year in the NFC Championship game, he had the ball multiple times in the fourth quarter. Nothing, right? No moments where it's, don't worry, I got this. By the time I'm done, with this fourth quarter, this entire place is going to lose their mind. Everyone watching the game at, at, at home is going to jump off their couch. I got this. That's not what happened, right? He had a good game statistically, but he wasn't big in moments, right? So if he can get another Super Bowl, he would have multiple Super Bowls. He'd stop the 0-4 in NFC Championships narrative, right? And the 1-4, uh, you know, for his entire career, and he's 0-4 or he's lost four in a row, he'd flip all that around. And Aaron Rodgers fans, you imagine what they would be saying the next day, all his fans on TV. You know, the GOAT conversation would come up. I mean, they would just use this in such a positive way for his career and for his legacy. It would be huge if somehow Aaron Rodgers this year, you know, gets up there with Peyton Manning with two... John Elway with two, right? Eli Manning with two. And I know Eli's not in that conversation, but I'm saying a quarterback with multiple Super Bowls. So of all the quarterbacks this year in the playoffs, to me, Aaron has the most to gain. Also because of his age, 
That's why I like Pat. I feel like he has a lot of time. Aaron's getting older now. He's going to be 40, right? Eventually, he can't play for another 10 years. And you're not always going to get this good of a team. You got to take advantage of it while you have it. So to me, of all the quarterbacks in the playoffs, Aaron Rodgers has the most to gain if he leads the Green Bay Packers to win a Super Bowl. Now, at number two, I might get some pushback. Okay, I might get some pushback. But I have Mac Jones. And you, you, you might say, well, hold on. He's a rookie. You know, he has a lot of time, right? He has a lot of time. Why would it be big for him if he won? Well, no rookie quarterback has ever won a Super Bowl. No rookie quarterback has ever appeared in a Super Bowl. There are four quarterbacks since the merger that have made it to a conference championship game, right? And the list is interesting. Mark Sanchez made it to a conference championship game. Joe Flacco made it to a conference championship game. Big Ben Steelers made it to a conference championship game. And Dieter Brock made it to a conference championship game. He was a quarterback for the Rams. Then he played some Canadian football, and I believe he also coached there too. Only four quarterbacks have made it to a conference championship game. Four. None of those quarterbacks won the game to get to the Super Bowl. So if somehow Mac Jones in his rookie year, okay, you know, the, the same quarterback that the 49ers decided to pass on and go with, you know, Trey Lance, the same quarterback the Jets decided to pass on and go with Zach Wilson, right? If Mac Jones, who dropped all the way down to 15, somehow, somehow wins the Super Bowl with the Patriots, that would be insane because he would have done something no one else has ever done before. And two, you imagine the Brady haters and the whole Bill Tom thing and the whole narrative behind that. You imagine Tom goes to Tampa, wins the Super Bowl, and then the following year, the Patriots with Bill and, and Mac Jones go win a Super Bowl. Oh, my God. The media would love that story. They would talk about it, right, the entire offseason. It'd probably almost be exhausting if it happened. So I don't think this is going to happen. Okay, I, I wouldn't put money on this, but if it did, it would be amazing and huge for Mac Jones. Now, at, at number three, okay, I have Josh Allen. And, okay, Josh Allen is paid like a superstar quarterback. Okay, he's paid like a superstar, $40 million a year, you're a superstar quarterback, right? When you're paid that kind of money, you're expected to be a superstar. And prior to his arrival, okay, prior to his arrival, the Bills had not won a playoff game since 1995. Okay, prior to Josh Allen's arrival, they hadn't won a playoff game since uh, uh, 1995. They finally won some playoff games, I believe, last year. I believe before that, they hadn't won a playoff game. So, he, you know, he got his team to uh, the conference championship game, right? So, Josh Allen arriving in Buffalo is a game changer, right? This is an organization that has never won a Super Bowl. A and they're famous for going to four Super Bowls in a row and losing all four of them. Okay, that's their history. That's the history of the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen comes in, right? They went to four Super Bowls, lost four in a row, hadn't won a playoff game since 1995. And under Josh Allen, they've become a prominent football team that is a real threat, right? There are still people who believe that the Bills have an outside chance of winning a Super Bowl more than they did last year, right? Because they're a little more battle-tested and they, they have more experience under their belt now, and they kind of know what to expect, right? So, so there are people out there who still feel this is the team that's going to come out of the AFC conference. If somehow Josh Allen was able to lead the Bills to win a Super Bowl, right? Think about what that would do for him. Think about how that would affect his legacy and his image and how we view him. He would immediately, because right now he's kind of known as you know, a gunslinger, right? You know, a very athletic quarterback who can both run and throw the ball, has a cannon of an arm, right? But he can be a little careless at times, right? And a little, a tad inconsistent at times. Imagine if he just, boom, and goes and wins a Super Bowl, okay? A guy that showed up, a Bills team that's never won a Super Bowl, had not won a playoff game since 1995, shows up, 
gets them to the conference championship last year, and then this year marches all the way through and gets them uh, through to a Super Bowl. That would take his, you know, his, his cachet, right? His, his, you know, his person to a whole other level, right? They, they'd start having discussions. Mahomes, Josh Allen, right? You'd get people arguing, I'd rather have Josh over Mahomes, right? Like it would really just take him as a player to a whole other level if he somehow leads the Buffalo Bills to a Super Bowl. At number four, I have Joe Burrow. Now, Joe Burrow is interesting, okay? Joe Burrow with the Bengals. A lot of people don't know this unless you watch a lot of college football or, you, you know, you keep up with the news in college football. He actually played for Ohio State for two years, I believe. Two years. It may be one or two. I'm pretty sure it was two. He played for Ohio State, and he couldn't get the starting job. So he ended up leaving to go to LSU right? Because he knew he would be the starting quarterback there. Now, chew on that one for a second. Think about that. Ohio State let Joe Burrow get away. And he went to LSU where he won a Heisman, right? He won the Heisman in his second year with LSU. And he also won a national championship with LSU when he had that insane year where he threw for something like 5,600 yards and 60 touchdowns. Like, he was at Ohio State. I think he was Mr. Ohio, right? And then he goes to LSU, and he wins a national championship, right? So he did that, what, in two years, right? He was at Ohio State for two years, went to LSU, had a, had a good first year. His second year there, wins a Heisman, leads him to a national championship, right? Just legendary, with legendary numbers. Then he gets selected number one in the draft, goes to Cincinnati, okay? He got injured. He was actually in the race against Justin Herbert to win, you know, AP Offensive Rookie of the Year. He just got injured. He was a little behind Herbert, but he was still within striking distance. And he was playing behind a really bad O-line. I, I remember that year he was getting stacked like crazy. And so was Justin Herbert, to be fair. But the way they grade O-lines... Justin Herbert was sacked a lot more, or excuse me, Joe Burrow was sacked a lot more. Justin Herbert was pressured a lot, but he played really good under pressure. Anyway, long story short, Joe Burrow got injured, right? Got injured. Everyone forgot about him, and everyone jumped on the Justin Herbert hype. And he comes back from his injury this year, leads his team to win his division, I believe they're the fourth seed in the AFC conference, right? And they chose that. They, they, didn't, they rested their players, right, the final game of the season. They actually could have won that game if they would have played their starters. I believe it was against the Browns. Now he's in the playoffs. Imagine if in his second year, like he did at LSU, right, his second year. Imagine if in his second year he was able to take this Bengals team that has not won a playoff game since 1990. The Bengals have not won a playoff game since 1990. Joe Burrow comes in in his second year, takes them all the way to a Super Bowl. That would be phenomenal. Okay, phenomenal. And it would be consistent with what he does because he did the same thing at LSU. And then he comes to the NFL and he does the same thing so in my opinion, these are the four quarterbacks who I believe if they somehow lead their team to win the Super Bowl, it would do so much for them. Okay, I have Aaron Rodgers one, uh, Josh Allen, or excuse me, I have Aaron Rodgers one, Mac Jones two, Josh Allen three, and Joe Burrow four. Hey everyone, thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.